could you introduce yourself and your company, please? I'm Jeremy Davis and our company Ampere um, has been making small wind turbines for 40 years since the early 70s. Um, we started off making marine turbines for boats um, and quickly these were used in uh, remote site applications where you know, power is required for powering equipment or uh, you know, homesteads, that type of thing. Uh, we've since moved on to making much larger turbines, hydro turbines, uh, and integrated power systems. Uh, we now have 26 employees. We're based in Dorset in the UK, and we have a turnover of about 2.5 million a year. So the reason why we're here at uh, Renewable UK is that we make um, power supplies and power wind measurement equipment. So this is one of them, that the, the helipod. And what it's designed to be is a rapid deploy power supply that can be lifted in by any, any means, helicopter, uh, track dumper, or uh, just put on a trailer. Um, panels fold out. Uh, it has 1,000 amp hours of batteries in there, uh, communications to talk to uh, project managers back at base. And these systems can be daisy chained together, uh, they can be augmented uh, by wind turbines, by fuel cells, or by um, propane diesel generators. And this turbine here, for example, the Ampere 600, is our most powerful DC uh, turbine, and it is used in some of the most horrible places on the planet. And it still survives, so this is why we're in this market of uh, providing power systems for. Uh, so this is the Ampere 600, which uh, is our flagship DC turbine, and uh, it's unique in many ways because it's one of the smallest turbines on the market to have um, laid pitch control. So the advantage of this is that. In very high winds, the turbine can go from being a wind turbine to being a, a flat disc against the wind, and therefore it's completely protected against overspeed, which is what kills most small turbines. Um, so the other key feature is the, uh, the blades, which are made of a, uh, a plastic injected into a glass fiber mat, and the blades can be bent to all sorts of unusual angles without any uh, damage, unlike carbon fiber or GRP blades which, which snap. So these turbines can take an absolute beating essentially and, and still operate. And over here looking at the, the helipod, the key features of this are the actual panels uh, fold in. The same with the lower panel and then they fold down on, on the deck and then the unit can be picked up quite easily by uh, a forklift underneath the runners. We have legs here which can be jacked down to raise the unit 600 millimeters off the ground so we've got added protection for snow, deep snow um, and also for long grass that can block air intakes and, and that type of thing. Um, but all of this is made out of uh, aerospace aluminium and it's designed to be as lightweight as a system full of batteries can be. This system, like most of Ampere's systems, is a hybrid system. We have a battery rack which is augmented by renewables, either PV or wind, and then if required, the site has a particularly poor weather for a long time, there's a Another source of generation, a fuel cell, a propane generator, or a diesel generator. And what Ampere's done, which we think is unique in the market, is make all of these options plug and play. So some guy doesn't have to go on site, wire something in, and uh, create a special enclosure for it. Just essentially arrive on site, uh, like in something. So one of these systems. Um, by doing so, it makes these systems are used in multiple sites. You can do a deployment of one of these systems in 
far more than lap plans where it requires a propane backup generator because there's no sunlight uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, through the winter, I'm sorry. Um, but then they may, this company may choose to do something in sort of northern Europe where the propane generator is not necessary. So our intention is that uh, companies can have our systems in stock, and they can pair them up with a higher power, or they can drive them into two separate units for uh, versatility and flexibility. And so, what, what are your target sectors and markets for this technology? Well, this this show for us is is all about the wind measurement market and uh, buyers of small turbines, which is our traditional market. But uh, recently, we've been accessing uh, world aid markets where power is important for say field hospitals or uh, communications. Uh, Defence is another new market for us as is the uh, entertainment and festivals uh, market where um, there's a huge drive towards green, green power. So we're really keen to speak to anyone in those industries or any partners in those industries who uh, uh, can work with us to uh, get our products out there. And so what does the company need now? Well, at this show, our, our main goal is to uh, convince the large engineering uh, project management companies that our power system should be used on all of their deployments for wind measurement equipment. And uh, it's, 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 it's no, uh, no easy challenge, that's for sure. But uh, we, we think we have enough data now to uh, show that our systems compared to tradi traditional uh, diesel systems are uh, wind hands down in terms of capex and, and opex. Thank you very much. Thank you.